Hello, hello, my dear jazz friends around the world. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I hope you have a great day. In this guitar tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you the great Brazilian jazz Latin standard O Amor em Paz, or in English, Once I Loved, in chord melody style. I'm going to show you everything note for note, slow and easy. There's also a slow tempo version towards the end of this lesson. I also made taps and uh, backing tracks, which you can download from one of the links down below in the description box. All right, now let's dig right in. Once I Loved is a pretty interesting song because it has an interesting song form and no real key. So the tonality, it starts out in F, then the first A section ends in D, the, la uh, the B section ends in D minor. So um, let's say it's in F. Um, for the song form, we have two A sections, each of these being 16 bars long and one B section, and this one is 12 bar longs long, so we have a total of uh, 44, that must be, yeah, 44 bars. All right, a lot to do, let's get started. All right, so we start with a little intro for bars going D minor seven. That's fifth, third, fifth, and the sixth of the inner four string. That's strings, that's a D minor seven. And we have a classical bossa nova pattern. If you want to know more about bossa nova patterns, I'll have a link, uh, a card, I put a card up here somewhere. So uh, check out my video on bossa nova grooves. All right, three, four. So that's D minor 7, then I go to G13, that's 3rd, 3rd, 4th and 5th fret, right? So the two of them together makes one bossa nova pattern. D minor 7 again, and then D7 sharp 9, that's just move your index to the right, all four strings, let, you, let the pressure release, alright, so here are the four bars at slow tempo, 3, 4. And 
And if you want to, you can add a uh, fifth bass uh, movement. All right, now let's check the first phrase of the actual song. We start with the G minor 7 chord and you can fret it this way or this way. Usually I prefer it this way. We are on the third fret, E, D, G, and B strings. But in this case, I often play it like this because this is our melody note and I want to keep it ringing while I change the chord in a second. So I start my pattern and the uh, B string, which has the melody note, should be a little louder now. So make sure that your melody kind of stands, stands out, sticks out, while your pattern, the groove, is a little lower, quieter. So um, to not interfere with that melody. I play um, the uh, outer strings first, the bass and the, and the uh, melody note. My pattern. Then I change to a C9 chord. Three, two, three, three, inner four strings. And now I just play uh, the inner two strings, the D and the G string with the bass along uh, interchangeably. Right? So what we get? Also here, I play the inner two strings, so not to interfere with the still ringing melody. Melody note is a C on the first of the B string. Then I, f I fret an F major 7 chord with the rest of my fingers. First, second, second, first. Uh, let's see. Right? Then it's F sharp diminished which is two, one, two, and one by barring. Um, where were we? So it's the second bar now of a groove. I start, uh, the second bar of the groove always starts with the upper strings, not with the bass. So I start with the middle strings, uh, actually with uh, all the three strings. We have a pickup to the next phrase, so that's third of G and fifth of G. And here's the entire phrase at slow tempo for you. One, two, three, four. And here's phrase two. We start with the G minor seven chord. This time I bar over it. Don't play the A string, okay? So just the E and those three, D, G, and B strings. We have uh, triplets, quarter triplets now. We hit the first chord and then we play the B string twice and the same thing again. The full chord plus Twice of the uh, D. Now it's a G sharp diminished chord. I add my middle finger to the fourth of the E and the ring finger goes on the B. That's the uh, fourth of the G string. Right? So, um, I played once. You can play it like this or sometimes when. Uh, songs are a little slower, I play like this, I kind of arpeggio it. Then I play the G and the D string afterwards. <coughs> F, E, D. And now 
now it's for an A minor 7 chord. That's the same as the G minor, but on the 5th fret. Play up to the B string, then the G string, and then the 7th of the D string. That's still an A minor, now it's an A minor chord actually. Right? And then I need a G in bass. So the same chord here, but with G in bass. 3rd of the E, 5th of D and G, and I actually don't press the B string anymore. So just these two. And now the second part of the rhythm is always starts with these two. Right? And here's phrase number two at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. And here's phrase number three. We now climb up the fretboard to F minor seven on the eighth fret. That's eight, ten, eight, nine, eight by barring. We take the upper three strings, G, B, and E string this time, and the A string is the bass, of course. So, um, then I take the lower three strings, D, G, and B, to not interfere with the still ringing uh, melody note on the E string. Then I go to B flat 7, it's 5 chord, just guide tone voicing because the melody is on this one. 6, 6, 7. I play the rest of the um, pattern. B flat 7 sharp 5 chord. That's 6, 7, 7, 6 on the upper 4 strings. And E flat major 7, the resolution. That's a classic 2, 5, 1 chord progression. I play the outer, uh, the A. Did I say 6, 8, 7, 8 already? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all timers, you know. So um, the outer two and then the inner two, D and G strings. And then I change over to an E flat 6 chord. This one is still here. Sometimes it stops ringing, but actually it should be still ringing. So, this is 6, 5, 5 by barring just these two, not the E, please. That's a wrong note. And then we have a pickup for the next uh, uh, phrase. And that's this again, the G and the A. All right, so here's the entire phrase at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Also play this with an alternating fifth in bass, then it would be like this. Right? The fifth is always below the root, so um, uh, on the F minor here and on the E flat here. Right? This is always not happening on, on count number three. All right, let's check the next phrase. All right, phrase four are the last four bars of the A1 section. We have that, uh, this pickup. Now I go to the sixth fret and I have an E half diminished chord. Seven of the A string, that's the E. Then we don't have anything on the D string. Seven of G, eight of B, and the sixth of E, E half diminished. One more time on the E. A, C, C, B flat, right? All have the same length. Those are uh, quarter note triplets again. Leading to its five chord A7 sharp five. We had this before. Five, six, six, five upper four strings. Then the E string alone. G 
That's the eight of the B string. Um, B flat, A, and all right, let's repeat this. And now the resolution is D major, but we have a G in the melody right next. And this is the avoid note. So there's hardly a voicing you can put over the over this. So what I did is um, I pro, uh, is that the right word? I prolonged the A altered chord for that eighth note. And this is an A seven flat nine or E diminished chord. That's the same thing basically. Seven eight six eight uh, middle four strings. So. Um, then, here is the resolution, actually, to the F sharp, and then I wrap around the D major 7 chord, around it, 5, 7, 6, 7. And the last chord is the D7 flat 9 chord, with our second pattern. So that's 5, 4, 5, 4 in a four strings starting with the upper strings because we're in the second bar of our pattern. All right, and here's the entire phrase number four at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Welcome to the A2 section. The good news, the first 14 of 16 bars are totally identical. So we have a second house, which means you jump from uh, uh, before the house one starts to the second house. That's like the second ending. And remember, I just we just had this E diminished chord. We, we have it now too in bar 15. That was seven, eight, six, eight. Then the seventh fret, this is the resolution, but this time we don't go to the D flat major, but to the D6 9. That's four, four, five, five of the uh, upper four strings. So, second house. And now it changes tonality again to lead us to the B section. So the last chord is a uh, D minor, actually first one is just a sus chord, there's no minor third in there. Root 5, 5, 5, 8. Now it goes to the minor third, we have a minor 11 chord now. We play the sixth alone. To its 5 chord, the G13. Here would be the G, we don't play that. Third, fourth, fifth and fifth, upper four strings. Then I release this one and I add my uh, index uh, barred over to the third. So this is still a, th a G13. Before it was a G13 9 with the 9 on top. And now it's just a G13. And then followed in the B section, which is the next one, with a C major chord. But we don't play that right now. So let's revisit. All right. Here is the second ending at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Welcome to the B section. So here are the first couple bars and we start on the resolution of that previous G13 we had. So that's a C major 7 on the 3rd uh, fret, 3, 5, 4, 5 in a 4 strings. I play my bossa nova pattern. You can use the alternating bass if you want to. Then I go over to C minor 7 chord, 3, 5, 3, 4 and the 3rd by barring. So I play all the way up to the high E string which means I play the three highest strings plus the A. Play it just once, because then it changes to its five chord, the F13, like we had on the G13, now it's F13. F 
13. One, two, three, three. And then the ninth goes to uh, the root by barring, just as we had it on the G. Now we have it on the F. All right, so. Um, again. And then the resolution of this one is B flat major seven, just like on C, uh, C major seven, but now it's B flat. One, three, two, three. And we start a bossa nova pattern and we play through the two bars. And you can use your alternating bass if you want to. So. I don't play those last uh, two string, uh, two, the last beat because now I have a pickup going from D to E. That's on a B string, third to fifth, right? And now I'm on a B diminished chord. Seven, six of D, seven, six of B by barring, right? B string again, fifth of the E string, a uh, B string, that's an E. Then the eight, you can play this one alone or fret the B diminished again, which I usually do. Seven, six, seven, eight now. Then I glide down to the seventh. Then I glide down to the sixth and play a B flat minor six chord. That's six, uh, so yeah, six, five, six, six. And now the, uh, the rhythm is a little different. Um, I play all the strings, all the four strings, I mean, twice. And then the melody goes down to the G string. One to the left is A minor 6, and we change to A minor 11. A minor 6 was one to the left, and then I take that index and put it on the uh, third, but these two have to go up one. So what you get is 5, 5 of D, 5 of uh, G, it's a A minor 7 till here, and then the third of the B string makes it an A minor 11. A minor 6. Rest, A minor 11. Chuck going, boom, chuck going. So that's almost kind of a swing rhythm, but we're still in uh, the Latin stuff. Um, and then I fill up with an A flat 7 flat 5 chord. A flat, that's the fourth, fourth, fifth, third. And my rhythm. Regular second bar Latin rhythm, bossa nova rhythm. Sorry. All right, here's the entire phrase at slow tempo. Three, four. four bars of the entire tune, you're almost through. All right, we were at the A flat uh, seven flat five, complicated name, A flat seven flat five. Um, and we have a pickup here on the uh, third of the B string, then go into the fifth of the B string, right? I go to the sixth and I wrap around a G7 cowboy chord, you know? Actually, I don't play the, I don't fret the fifth, but you could. We don't play it anyway. So that's the third, then maybe the fifth if you want to, the third by barring, the fourth, that's important, the sixth. Yeah, and that was it. Well, 
and maybe the the bar over there. All right, here we are. So what we got? We play the E string and the D, G, and B string. One more time for the B string. Slide it over or glide it over to the E, to the fifth. Stay there a little longer. Then the high E string on the third. And then you let everything go, go to the seventh of the B string. Go to the sixth and we have a G minor seven now. Remember this was a G minor and now we have the seventh up here too. So three, three of D, G and the sixth of B. Rest, let, let this, I'll leave this finger on and wrap an A7 sharp five around it. That's five, five, six, six. So going from here, G minor seven, rest, a7 sharp 5. Boom cha going we have again. Boom cha going. All right. Um, boom cha going. Then the G is the melody note. The G string has the melody note. That's a C sharp. D minor 9, that's 5, 3, 5, 5, and the last note of the song is the root, the D, so I, take, I put this one off, fret this down, five, 3, 5, 3, I don't play the G, just looks as if I, but that's because this is more comfortable for me, so I don't do this, right? Actually, it's twice D minor 9 and twi 2 of D minor 7. And then the last chord, you could end it here, actually. That's the last note. Sound has uh, this song has a clear D7 flat 9 at the end, and then I resolve it. So a uh, D7 flat 9, 5, 4, 5, 4 inner 4 strings, second bar of the rhythm, starting with the high notes, and G minor 7 for the end. And these are the last four bars at slow tempo. One, two, three.
thanks everyone for stopping by for a lesson on ones I love. Now I want to know from you guys and gals, which is your favorite Latin standard and which one do you want me to teach you? Please comment in the comment section below and I hope you give this video a fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you never wanna miss out on a new video. Also hit the little bell notification. I see you next week. Servus, Baba. Thank you.